Hi everyone, my name is Miss Olivia and today I'm going to be doing a read aloud of Boy We Were Wrong About Dinosaurs by Kathleen Kudlinski with permission from Scholastic. Right now I'm going to do part one, so I hope you guys enjoy! Long, long ago, before people knew anything about dinosaurs, giant bones were found in China. Wise men who saw the bones tried to guess what sort of enormous animal they could have come from. After they studied the fossil bones, the ancient Chinese decided that they came from dragons. They thought these dragons must have been magic dragons to be so large, and they believed that dragons could still be alive. Boy, were they wrong. No one knows exactly what dinosaurs looked like. All that is left of them are fossil bones, and a few other clues. Now we think that many of our own past guesses about dinosaurs were just as wrong as those of ancient Chinese or ancient China. Some of our mistakes were little ones. When the first fossil bones of Iguodon were found, one was shaped like a rhino's horn. Scientists guessed that the strange bone fit like a spike on Iguodon's nose. Boy, were we wrong about Iguodon. When a full set of fossil bones was found later, there were two pointed bones. They were part of Iguodon's hands, not its nose. Other new clues show us that we may have been wrong about every kind of dinosaur. Some of our first drawings of dinosaurs showed them with their elbows and knees pointing out to the sides, like a lizard's. With legs like that, big dinosaurs could only waddle clumsily on all fours or float underwater. Now we know their legs were straight under them, like a horse's. Dinosaurs were not clumsy. The size and shapes of their leg bones seem to show that some were as fast and graceful as a deer. Paintings in old books show dinosaurs dragging their tails in the dirt because few fossils of tail drags were found. And scientists couldn't imagine how muscles could hold up the enormous tails. Thousands of fossil footprints have now been found with no tail drag marks at all. Clues in some dinosaur fossils show that their tails had stiff tendons inside to help them hold out straight. With their heavy tails to provide balance, many dinosaurs, even giant apparatus, could probably stand on their hind legs, reaching leaves in the tallest trees. Others, like Tyrannosaurus, always walked on two legs. Inside bones, scientists have found surprises too. We used to think that dinosaurs were cold-blooded, like snakes and lizards. Cold-blooded animals need to bask in the sun to warm their bodies. When scientists look through a microscope at slices of lizard bones, they don't see many blood vessels inside. They do, they do see rings where new bone grew slowly, year by year. Dinosaur bones look different. They have a lot of blood vessels inside, and new bone seems to grow around every one of them. Dinosaurs may have been more like birds, with bodies that were warm and full of energy night and day. They would have needed this extra energy to move their graceful legs. Are we right about dinosaurs yet? Now, some scientists think they were neither cold-blooded nor warm-blooded, but something in between. There is no way to be sure. Scientists used to think all dinosaurs were scaly because a few fossil skins showed bumps that looked like scales. Now, more fossils have been found with marks that seem to be from feathers. What did dinosaurs have on their skin? Bumps, scales, or feathers? We can only guess, but we have some good ideas. That might help on cold nights. It's the latest fashion. Because big animals lose heat more slowly, we think that the big dinosaurs like the big elephants of today, wouldn't have needed fur or feathers to keep themselves warm. In the last few years, fossils of many kinds of little dinosaurs have been found. 
Some grew no bigger than pigeons. These small animals needed some way to keep from losing their body heat. Some of the fossils show warm, fluffy feathers, like a baby chick's. Others show long feathers, like a rooster's. I hope you guys enjoyed part one of Boy We Were Wrong About Dinosaurs by Kathleen Kudlinski. Make sure to check back in for part two. See you guys later.